The episode you're about to watch is a sample episode from our member exclusive section. So we now have a uh, member section for our website where you can support our channel by subscribing. You will also get access to member exclusive content. If you guys enjoy the content that you're about to watch, become a member. We really appreciate your support. Thank you. All right, welcome to the episode in the Rails Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be continuing development on our from our previous episode where we started moving our controllers into modules and we namespaced our routes. Uh, so there's a few things still broken over here. So let's take a look. Uh, if I head over into the sign in and if I click on the sign up page, uh, things are still broken. It says that undefined method users path. That's because our routes have changed. So to fix that, all we have to do is go over into the user new. And here, we're going to add an array and we're going to add the auth module name, just like that. And then uh, if I do a reload now, it's going to work just fine. Great. Okay, so um, anything else we need to do here? Let's take a look. Nope, we're good. So, um, and if we head over to the confirmation page, there's a route here we need to change as well, which is the auth confirmation path. Um, and also in our mailer, um, you know, we need to make sure that we use the auth new confirmation URL. So let's take a look at the routes just to be sure. Uh, new auth confirmation it is. So new auth confirmation URL, just like that. Um, and here as well, new auth confirmation URL. All right, so uh, one thing we can do as well is we can start um, moving the mailers. So here we have the user mailer. Uh, so we can create a, um, you know, a module. So if I go to mailers, so I'm going to do new folder, call it auth. And then basically, we're going to move the user mailer because you know, it's related to the user uh, authentication stuff. So I'm going to find in folder and uh, actually I'm going to reveal in finder. Uh, and then let me just close that down, head to the finder, and then I'm going to move this into the auth. All right. So here we are, the auth uh, user mailer. So that's going to clean that up. Uh, so now we also need to move our um, user mailer here into the auth module. So we're going to put that into the auth just like that. Great, so now we have the user mailer all as well. Uh, let's try things out. So I'm gonna sign up and I'm gonna use, um, you know, just Zach123 at gmail.com. Uh, let me start up the mail uh, catcher. So I'm gonna I'm restart my application as well because, you know, we've changed a lot of folder structure. I uh, just wanna make sure that everything is, um, you know, reloaded. Uh, so here I'm gonna start mail catcher. All right, so I'm gonna head over into my uh, local host. 1080, just like that, just to show that, you know, we have, we can see the email and I'm going to do a reload here real quick. So Zach, one, two, three at gmail.com. Uh, password is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to click finish. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at the mail catcher. So it all worked, you know, our code refactor is working. Uh, and so that's going to be just fine. Um, so as you know, to just wrap it up a little bit over here, we moved all of our user authentication stuff into the auth module here. So this is how we do the module. Uh, you know, we use a double colon here to indicate in Ruby that we're namespacing our classes. Everything, as you can see here, is in the auth directory. And in the routes, we've also namespaced our routes, uh, which correlates with the module system in our controller. Um, and uh, so the user mailer over here, um, you know, we also actually should, um, if we look at the user creation, we're using the user mailer. It's automatically because we're already in the auth module, but just to be safe, we should do something like this, auth user mailer register email delivered now. That is more uh, precise. So that uh, is all working and, and, and working great. Um, one of the things we need to do is, uh, you know, we have some stuff we need to clean up, like over here. Um, if I click on this, you'll see that it shifts a little bit to the left. So we're going to do some minor tweaks to the to the interface over here. Um, but we're going to do that in a different episode. 
uh, we also have an issue here where, you know, if I do a, um, you know, I type in an email that is not in the system and I try to log in, we run into an error instead of it re redirecting and showing us that, you know, there's an error like we, you know, we, we haven't uh, put in the right email or the right password. It's you know giving us an error. Um, so in the upcoming episode, I'm going to show you guys how to clean all this up and then we're going to continue development on our um, on our application here. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.